video about torsion bar springs or torsion springs. Um, torsion springs are, are uh, relatively simple. It's basically a bar uh, or a piece of round stock that you twist um, in order to store energy in the uh, deflection of the material and you know then recover that you know like you like you do with a spring. Um, and springs in general are elastic energy storage devices so we're storing energy in the in the rotational deflection of that that spring. Um, torsion bar springs can be found in, in things like automotive suspension um, or like you know small doors or, or little doors that have a hinge um, that you want to automatically return closed uh, because you know since it's just a bar it's easy to just slide the, the, the spring into the hinge and you know it's, it's relatively small doesn't take up a lot of space. So just very briefly um, basic principle of what we're talking about, we would have as an example uh, a long piece of, of material, long and thin. One end here is fixed, and this is just like a bent piece of material, another bend at this end, and this end is, is you know, the, the load is applied to it, so it's twisted and it causes a, a twisting rotation uh, around the long axis of that shaft. And it's pretty straightforward then based on some of the stuff that we've already seen uh, in that we can analyze it as a uh, torsional stress, a shear stress. We can calculate torsional deflection using the standard equation. Uh, and we can get a spring constant which is related to our uh, geomet geometric properties and our material properties uh, using that. So again, stress, deflection, and spring constant, which you know typically is going to have newton meters um, uh, or foot pounds or inch pounds uh, as uh, units might also be called spring rate sometimes but that gives us a measure of how much force you know we can apply to get a certain amount of, of deflection out of it so not too bad for analyzing relatively simple just a straight cylindrical rod that we twist and look at the stresses in it 